It's funny you mentioned labeling, and, and I've talked to some people about you know laws that were trying to get passed in certain states that failed miserably. Um, hundreds of millions of dollars, I'm sure, spent uh, to get those laws to fail so that labels aren't on, on products. Yet, at the same time, uh, the store where I shop, the organic section, is getting bigger. Um, now you've got some big companies, like cereal companies, I think, are saying, hey, we don't use GMOs, and now those are actually going on the label. Kind of ironic that they're now advertising that we don't use GMOs in these certain products, and that's a, that's a selling point for them, but yet they don't want labeling on there. It's a fascinating thing, uh, and this this brings up th this is why I think the GMO thing is so interesting because it's really about lots of things uh, in culture, not just about science and, and nutrition. So, you know, if you have companies pouring tens of millions of dollars into keeping labels off of things, and yet other companies put a non-GMO label on it voluntarily as a selling point. That is a market shift that is happening at the gra at the grass. Like th these companies are putting the non-GMO label on it because consumers have let it be known that they don't want them. Where it gets interesting is where if a company has, uh, you know, two different products, like you have Cheerios, for example, which apparently is marketing itself as non-GMO, but Honey Nut Cheerios is not marketing itself as non-GMO. So if you're a consumer or if you're the company and you've got you've got this image of a you know a parent pushing their shopping cart and they've got to pick out a cereal for their kid. And you've got two boxes on the shelf side by side. One says non-GMO and the other doesn't. You're, you're kind of banking on some business model that some percentage of people are going to be convinced by the non-GMO label and some people won't care either way. You know, what you wouldn't want, I assume, is to have one product cancel out the other one. So I, you know, I don't know how you work that out, but th th that's where we are at the moment. Mm.